Febby Bilstein recommends that any diagnosis and maintenance is carried out by a fully trained vehicle technician. In this video, we are looking at the high pressure fuel pump cam follower. This is a common fuel system wear item that affects several popular Volkswagen AG vehicles fitted with the 2.0 FSI and TFSI engines. The symptoms when this component is worn may be an increase in engine noise, loss of engine performance, uneven running and stalling. This is due to reduced maximum pump piston lift, causing fuel rail pressure fluctuations, fuel pressure loss and poor regulation. Before starting work on the fuel system, be aware that the fuel supply line is pressurized. Wear safety clothing in order to avoid injuries and skin contact with fuel. With the bonnet raised, remove the engine cover and air cleaner assembly. Before working on the high pressure fuel system, the fuel pressure must be reduced. First, disconnect the connector from the fuel pressure regulating valve on the high pressure pump then allow the engine to run for approximately 10 seconds at idling speed and then switch off the engine. Then raise the vehicle and drain the engine oil. Inspect the oil for fuel contamination as this could have had a dramatic wear effect on all engine components which could be caused by an internally leaking fuel pump. In this case, there was no contamination. Lower the vehicle, disconnect the vacuum hose from the vacuum pump, which is located next to the fuel pump, then the engine breather pipe, followed by all the electrical connectors from the fuel pump assembly. Carefully loosen and remove the brass vent valve. This gives you better access to the lowest of the three pump bolts. Loosen the high and low pressure fuel lines, observing cleanliness when working on the fuel supply system. Remove the fuel lines and place to one side. Unbolt and remove the three retaining bolts and carefully remove the fuel pump assembly. With the fuel pump removed, remove the bucket style follower, checking the camshaft lobe for wear. Then with all the parts removed, inspect the fuel pump piston for wear. Replace the sealing ring, then lubricate with oil before refitting the pump. Comparing the new and old follower, it is clear that the case harding has worn through and is now showing wearing on the shiny soft metal. With this example, it would not be long before this would cause further damage to the fuel pump and camshaft lobe. This should also be inspected for wear before replacing the follower. Lubricate the new follower before fitting and then slide into place before refitting the fuel pump and associated fixings. Once the fuel pump is fitted, tighten retaining bolts and fuel lines to manufacturer's torque figures. Replace the oil filter and engine oil. Start the engine and ensure there are no leaks. Refit the engine cover and air cleaner assembly. Clear any fault codes that might be present relating to this fault. Finally, road test the vehicle to check for correct operation.